So good morning. I'm very happy to be here this morning. Really, it's a, it's a pleasure and privilege to be among you and to speak about uh, Orange ambition in African Middle East. Um, as you may know, Orange is, uh, of course, a very strong telco operator uh, in 21 countries in Africa and uh, North uh, Af Africa. So it's ranging from Egypt, Jordan, Morocco, Tunisia, and 15 mostly French-speaking sub-Saharan countries. And we have 130 million clients. Uh, we, are, we have announced to the market that we would like to be not only a telco operator, but also a major contributor to the social and economic development of Africa and Middle East. We uh, indeed really believe that uh, digital is reopening really new areas for growth, uh, new key areas for development of both societies and states, and we are very eager to, to work side by side, both with local states, with the popul local populations, with startups, but also with the international donors and public institutions to work hand in hand on, on the joint program in, in the next uh, years on that. So first of all, just to recall that uh, the first um, step of our ambition in, for Africa and Middle East is obviously to continue to invest in connectivity. One of the big ambitions that we should share together is really to bring internet to as many populations as possible. So we are investing at Orange around 1 billion euro yearly of new investment in CapEx to deploy 3G, 4G, fiber in big towns and metropoles. And I think that everything is starting from that. I mean, and if you take, for example, if you take, for example, the rural or farm farmers in Africa, today up to 60, 60, oh, 60 percent of all of the 400,000 uh, rural communities and farmers are now connected with some kind of connectivity, be it 2G, 3G, or 4G, and it opens the gates to a series of new digital offers and services that I'm going to describe now. The first, I will start by maybe something that we may uh, astonish you, but one of the first ambitions that we have is to deploy massively new financial services to the African populations. We have a, a second brand in Africa called Orange Money, which is the, the number one uh, and leading mobile payment operator in Western Africa. And I'm starting um, deliberately with Orange Money because with Orange Money, we can bring um, the capacity for the population to have a, a kind of bank account to make payments with merchants, but also B2B, P2P transfers. Um, we also enable them to um, have uh, deposits, loans, savings, and micro insurance. And in 2018, Orange will launch a massive initiative to deploy um, new uh, micro insurance uh, services and products in, uh, in Western Africa. Uh, especially to the rural populations, in order to cover them much more than today uh, from uh, you know health problems, uh, inability to work, etc. So that's point number one. 30 million clients uh, today with Orange Money. Um, the second thing that I would like to, to uh, emphasize is uh, what we want to do in the energy space. As you know, the cost of energy in Africa is a major problem. Today, we estimate that 70% of the population in Africa do, uh, do n does not have access to the grid, and uh, the cost of energy is a very, very uh, central problem for the economic and social development. So in 2018, I'm currently uh, instructing the commercial lunch uh, through our Orange Network distribution uh, in uh, five uh, main countries of what we call pay-as-you-go solar home systems, which are actually kits with a, with a panel, with a solar panel, to be put on the top of, um, of the houses. And then it is connected with a hardware with a battery inside that um, so takes the power of the sun and enables them to connect phones, uh, lamps, TV, and radio. And so we're going to launch that in, uh, in five, up to seven countries in 2018 in Africa, Ivory Coast, Senegal, Cameroon, Madagascar, DRC. Um, the cost of the hardware of, on the system is around three to $400 Per, uh, per client. So it's a little bit expensive for Africa. So what we have decided to do is to propose a, a lease that will enable our customer to uh, pay this service on uh, a 24 up to 36 months lease. And concretely speaking, it means that each, pe each person will be able to, to buy this system uh, uh, $80 with an 8 
to $10 payment per month. And it's a way to really massively deploy this new access to electricity in rural areas. Uh, and we're going to reach around 300,000 cells in the next uh, 24 to 36 um, uh, months. And it's a, it's a good example because it is um, um, an, an example that shows that uh, a telco operator like Orange, when it brings its uh, mobile payment Orange Money, when it brings its presence on the ground through our Orange uh, distribution network, um, when it also brings its, um, uh, the magic of its, of its brand name, which is also um, uh, a sign of confidence, can really open new doors through the digital in the space like the energy, where we, where we should maybe, you may not expect Orange to, uh, to, to appear. And this initiative, so pay as you go solar home system, will enable to cover between 300,000 up to half a million uh, new uh, customers with electricity uh, supply in Africa uh, for uh, a little bit less than 40 cents uh, per, uh, per day, so it's a very, very cheap um, uh, uh, solution. <coughs> the third example I would take, obviously, is, uh, is agriculture. As you know, farming represents 60% of the overall GDP of uh, sub-Saharan Africa, but at the same time, 60% of the farmers are now connected with 2G or even 3G or, or 4G. And today, it opens the, the way, it paves the way for a, a series of new solutions ranging from uh, information on weather, weather forecasts, uh, uh, remote training of, uh, of, of farmers, um, increasing of the productivity of, uh, the, of, of the production through advice, um, uh, ability to call a, a call center, etc. And uh, Orange has been one of the first major telco operators to launch this uh, agriculture, new digital services in Africa. And today we have attained half a million customers in Africa uh, in uh, 11 different countries. And uh, the estimates say that uh, when um, a farmer in Africa gets these new digital services through the phone, its uh, revenue increases between plus 10 up to plus 30% in the next year. So it's a massive, massive impact on, um, on, the, um, on the population. And globally, uh, our estimates also show that when the mobile penetration in rural areas in Africa increases by 10%, the GDP is growing by uh, more than 1.2%. So it's a direct increase. And I'm, I may also remind that uh, the ICT development in Africa is twice, is twice fast, faster today than in any part of the world. I will maybe finish and end up my, my short uh, presentation with uh, two, uh, two next uh, examples. Um, so I've spoken about payments and insurance, about energy, about agriculture, but else is obviously another very key area where we can do much more, much better, and much simpler. Uh, let's give me an example. Uh, today, um, we have a massive issue in Africa, which is to improve the productivity of hospitals, clinics, and health centers. And today, through uh, the alliance of uh, connectivity, uh, remote uh, digital systems, uh, and um, 3G, 4G um, uh, you know, offers services, um, telco operators can work with governments in Africa to massively improve uh, the uh, effectivity of hospitals in this space. Um, agriculture also means the ability to provide uh, the uh, farmers with uh, um, sets of uh, services or remote diagnosis uh, tool through the smartphones and helping the, the health professionals to work much more better and uh, more efficient than they used to be. Last but not least, I wish finish with education. As you know, I, I am French. Before uh, having moved to the telecom industry, I was also a high civil servant, uh, working for the French government as a French diplomat, and have a, a very strong sensitivity for education, uh, francophonie, etc. Today, Orange has made a promise to Africa, which is also to bring uh, um, a tremendous new um, sets of contents, uh, especially francophone uh, contents, to the populations. So we have an initiative um, that is called uh, Sankofa that will be uh, developed uh, tremendously in the next uh, months, uh, which is based on the fact to provide um, uh, educators, teachers, but also uh, students in, uh, in French-speaking universities in Africa, but also in, uh, in, to, in primary schools, with tablets, uh, special um, uh, bundles of 2G, 3G, and connectivity, and contents negotiated with uh, European or French institutions or universities 
providing Africa with uh, top of the class MOOCs, uh, so educational contents, to help them really increase their level of, uh, of proficiency, be it general education or uh, technical efficiency. Uh, this has been announced by uh, the French President uh, Emmanuel Macron uh, a few days ago in, in back in Burkina Faso, and Orange has worked uh, very closely with the French government to foster this kind of, of initiative. Uh, we, I may also speak about the uh, strategic partnership that we are currently closing with Canal+, uh, a major um, uh, digital provider uh, of contents in Africa, to, um, to bring more uh, TV uh, channels, uh, TNT, uh, SVOD and TVOD uh, uh, offers to, to Africa. So in a nutshell, uh, we believe that uh, um, digital is going to be the thing and the big story of Africa in the next uh, decade. We anticipate that uh, uh, there will be one billion smartphones uh, uh, reached in 2020 uh, in, in Africa overall. Globally, the, tele the teleco industry has already one billion mobile clients uh, today in, in Africa. And of course, this means that with, through the digital, through 2G, 3G, 4G, uh, we are now able to deliver a, se a series of new solutions and services to the populations and states. I, ha I haven't mentioned e-government. We can also, uh, for example, increase public payments for, for states, uh, payment of subsidiaries, public sub payment of taxes, and globally uh, increase uh, cl globally the efficiency of the public sector. So put it in a nutshell, uh, e-education, payments and insurance, energy, agriculture and health is going to be, are going to be uh, on the top of the agenda of telco operators like Orange in the next months for Africa, based on the digital and on, on our assets. It's a way for us to really contribute to the social and economic development of the continent. Of course, at the same time, um, uh, increase the stickiness of our client to the brand Orange, but it's also the way for us to, to replay our role uh, at the same time of a large group present in Africa and uh, being a social contributor to its uh, welfare. Thank you.